That you've already taken pictures of your your cup there. So now the first thing we want to do, I don't know, medium fit you would be to photograph that cup, right? Always photograph prior. So let's say you've got your pictures. Now you're gonna do your DNA. With take your beaker, put a little bit, a couple drops on your DNA swab. You're going to use your evidence tape. Let me know if you have any questions. Got your tape. You've got your tape. You need help opening your eyes. Okay. And you got your tape. Yeah. So what you want to do is the seal is here and here. So that's what you want to do. So go ahead and 
you're gonna have a hard time lifting it, but what I want you to do is do here oh, okay. and here. There you go, so go ahead and do that. Over that seal. So this is your seal right here. That's where the, you want that tape to go in that V. It's a very difficult, see? Here, start over, in your V. It's hard with gloves, isn't it? Can you help us? There you go, you got it. And even if you have to use scissors, in the little blue box, you have scissors if you need to use your scissors or you can rip them if you want to make it to the size of your... Very good, you got it. And you can just wrap that right, you could either, yeah, you could do it that way, or you could tear it off. Like if you had extra okay. suspended, you could tear it off that way. So you want to date and initial your, you guys got pens and stuff? Yeah, I did. Okay. So you want, there you go. Very good, okay. See how difficult that tape is? How are you doing? This is good. Now you want a date initial. Do you have a pen? Okay. Or a marker. We use markers, but if you don't have markers, we need to give you a pen. So you want to do here? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. I just write the day initials and what else? <laughs> I'd be in trouble if I got to where I want that. So, you yeah, can now here, here. There's your opening. Here, I no! I here, here, you're good. It's just right here. Okay, try again. How you guys doing? How you doing? Good. Very good. Okay. You got it. Look at you. Go ahead and look at it if you want. There you go. Now you want to do up here. Well, you keep it. Look you at here. Do it a bit more. Okay. Here. Okay. Now you guys are going to do it for the first time. You should see officers trying to do this. It's a pain. Give me a minute. In the beginning. Here? Yes. So on the front, you're going to put your location, your date and time, your initials, your report number. So you're going to go over this. On each side. Just make stuff up. You got. Is this your badge number? Yeah. Okay. And then, is this your initials? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, college. Very good. Now, you want to initial and date the back. So you need to initial and date these seals. You want to go over the seal. So this shows that nobody's tampering with your evidence. And a defense attorney, if you do it under, they can say, well, how do we know this is sealed appropriately? You didn't go over the seal. So that's why it's very important.
good. And then you've got everything in the front. Now your location, I see you're putting down the Henry County College. You would put the location actually if you were on a scene of the item. Where was that? Oh. Was it located on the kitchen table? Was it located on an end desk? Um, so, no, but it's okay. Very good, you're going over that cell. That's awesome. So we're in, in this instance, we're in like glass stuff. Yeah, and where you where you got it from? Okay. So where did you? It was from desk yeah. top or wherever you collected that from. Okay. And then you got your initials, and that's good. And you can also go over the seal if you wanted to, but that's good. Okay, so you guys are like, probably doing great. Okay, so if you're all done, you can go ahead and take a break. What did I get? Ten minutes or fifteen? Where, where, you're the teacher today. Go ahead and take 15. So be back here at. Uh, <coughs> that's the correct time. Yeah, be yeah. back here at 8. Go. My watch is a little. Yes, absolutely. You take videos of your scene. When you take videos of your scene, you want to make sure you turn off the volume, you turn off the sound. Because you don't want somebody saying something stupid in the background, and then this video goes to court, and that stupid thing they said is on the video for everybody to hear. So you can photograph a scene, you can video a scene. The next thing that we want to do, I want you guys to do, I want you to photograph your footwear impressions with your scales your footwear scales. Remember how I told you, like this, and like this. And the reason why we do that is for the lab. The lab can determine the size of your shoe. There are companies that in law enforcement that we could call the brand <coughs> name of this shoe. We could call that company and ask them what type of shoe it is. I have to tell you there's a case that was solved. I went to a scene. It was an elderly woman who lived in the basement. And she had it was like thirty to fifty thousand dollars taken out of the basement. The basement was ransacked. Yeah. She didn't keep her, she didn't believe in keeping her money in a bank. So she kept it in her basement home. Uh, her, I think it was her daughter and her son-in-law lived upstairs. So I'm walking around the crime scene and I'm seeing all these footwear impressions. Pretty good because they were in the mud. And so I was photographing uh, with them without scale and I was getting my close-up shots. And so when I got back to the station, I noticed there was a brand name on these shoes. And so the detective that was working the case, uh, we were talking about it, said, you know, brand name, is there a place we could call to find out what type of shoes these are? Sure enough, she calls the company. And this brand name was actually a skateboard shoe. Little did we know there were skateboarders living next door. They were the suspects and they were charged just off of footwear impressions. So it's very important when you take pictures, every detail matters. Even if you don't think it does, it does. Because I didn't even realize I had gotten the brand name. It was only when I got back to the station that when I was looking at the pictures, I realized I had taken a photograph of the brand name. So we were able to solve that case. And the defenders went to do it. So yeah, you're all photographed. Yes. So you might want to stand up because you're going to do an over of that footwear impression with your scale. And when you document your report, your photographs are taken with or without the scale. That means you document it like that, just like with lighting. Photographs are taken. Actually, this is my. 
thing I want to do, magnetic powder is used for non-metal surfaces, used on smooth surfaces, but because it's magnetic, you don't want to use it on metal because it will stick to it. So I gave each and one of you a receipt. You also have a paper plate. Magnetic is perfect for paper. So, and we can do that. The lab actually doesn't mind us using magnetic. Um, the lab does have a better chemicals and stuff to use that they use, but we don't have labs at the police station, so we're not forensic scientists. So we do the best we can do on the So, you take your magnetic powder, okay? And you've got your magnetic brush or tool, okay? You're gonna use mine, because you didn't have one in your kit. I'm going to open that up so everybody can see me. Move it in there. So, if you get too much, you should be able to pull the top of your tool and it'll release some. So with receipts, we can get video as well. So a couple things you can do with receipts. You can do your latents, send it to the lab, and they have different chemicals they could use. Um, super cool is one of the techniques they use. So you have different chemicals that you use. And we can get video. Okay, and we can get video. Very good. 
So we wouldn't lift from paper. What we would do is we would put tape on this paper and send it to the lab. Was there anything in no. I tried, but I wanted you guys to work with magnetic because magnetic is so cool. got some of you guys have tape some of you don't This is going straight to the lab. There's yours. There's yours. You're going to peel that. And the sticky side is what you place on the plate where your light and print is. That's what you want the lab to see. Paper is okay. So, like paper bags is good for DNA. You never want to put any DNA items in a um, plastic bag. It always goes in paper, whether you have clothing or any type of item, like a cup or anything. Um, we'll use paper, but the rest can go in plastic. I brought my extra ones because oh, okay. we've been going through Allergies. a lot. Allergies. So how are you doing on photographing? Good. Good. Do you guys have any questions? Anything? Or paper, you seal 
your open areas and then using the shown date just like you would even if you had like a big vanilla envelope if you wanted to put it in so the tab and then you put that and take over that opening and you're showing it it's so repetitive i mean it's so repetitive and that's how you pick it up the more and more you do things the more and more you pick it up and it your routine anybody else so if you guys want to practice with the white and powder or with the i gave you guys so you've got your magnet but i also gave you guys dust as well. So if you want to practice with the dust, I pulled out dust. You should, each of you should have your brush. I pulled it out of your kit and each of you should have your black dust. Not magnetic. Before you guys get to school, look in the mirror. Are you guys way in the bathroom? It up your nose? Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, up your nose on your face. My first though. Crime scene. I think it was Dennis that was with me. My first one, we had a burglary, and it was my first time. Do you were you there too? So I came walking out of this scene, black. I mean, I looked like a raccoon, black all over my face. And these guys were laughing at me. They're like, "Go look at your face." <coughs> I was blowing this dust out of my nose for days. Every time I go to blow my nose, it'd be all black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wish we had a camera for so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was just dusting, dusting away. Yeah. <clears throat> That's one thing we always, I don't know if you thought, talked about this, when we tell people like their house has been burglarized and we, we tell them we're going to process the scene, we let them know that, hey, your house is going to get dirty and it's not. It's not that easy to, to clean it up, especially if you've got like white cow shoes, yeah. white carpet. Yeah. Windex usually we use on surfaces to clean up. Windex usually works, but. Yeah, but it's not like one wipe. It's, uh -uh. it's uh -uh. multiple. And even though we laid down these napkins and paper towels and stuff, it still goes everywhere. Big one or little one? Uh, big one. Big one, okay. There you go. Now these, you can peel, actually peel off. And, and stack the latent card on the back. How about you, girl? Big one or little one? I can use this one. You want a big one? Sure. Okay, we'll give you this one. We'll give you this one. you'll see these got the latent card on the back so it makes it really cool so when you peel the sticky side and you lift your print you can just fold that over make sure it's nice without bubbles press down on it and you'll be able to see your nice latent print can you get with the mold yeah Yeah. 
Okay. So you're gonna peel that off, and then you're gonna, here's your latent card side, you're gonna press it to this side. Okay. Can you close it when you're done? Yeah, make sure it's got no bubbles, so you'll need to bubble. Yeah, you know. As you shut it down, you wanna seal that in. So go ahead and rub it in. Real nicely. You don't have to see that. I guess I'll be good today. You see all your, your prints there? See? Good job. You guys are doing a great job. See all that? See all your prints? Isn't that cool? Yeah? Good job. And you guys did perfect because some people use a lot of dust and you can't, you can't even see the print. And then some people use very little dust and you can't see the print. So if you can't see the print, that means the lab can't see the print. <coughs> Start throwing everything away? Yeah, and uh, first put the stuff away in your kids. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pick up all your mm -hmm. garbage that you guys don't want. Yeah. Oh, there's so here. I'll turn it over You guys can put your stuff in uh, the case where it's away in the kit. No, put your stuff away in the kit. And then. Yeah, and then the and last yeah, day, if you don't come in. You didn't come with it? No. Why? Why would I want to come home? Like this could be my last day. Yeah, but this is your last actual day. This could be my last day. All the teachers going to be chill as hell. I don't care. They're going to probably buy us food. I don't yeah. care. I can get my own food. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Or I can be at home and do what I want. Y'all are going to look back in like 20 years and be like, damn. I should have stayed that one. In 20 years, I would be like, what did I even do? <laughs> That's actually it's very true. true. This is a good memory. Yeah, you, you need uh here. Here. Um, 
Big brain like that. 